All right, hey, what's up, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and welcome back to another video um, where I just kind of talk to myself. <laughs> I mean, I talk to myself in every video, but this one is like, at least these past couple are especially just, oh, I talk. And <laughs> I feel like I got to name the series or like a series or something like I talk or something. Literally, I, I just say words. So um, thanks for checking in on this video. Um, the footage that I have that I'm showing right now is a little bit of easy CTF, um, which is a high school, middle school uh, competition or capture the flag competition that was put on uh, earlier this year. I don't know if I don't honestly don't remember if it was March or April, probably March. I don't even remember March, March or February. I'm sorry, not April. This month is April. Um, so I actually wanted to talk about this topic um, and Easy CTF was actually kind of a springboard to it too, as well as that intelligence class that I told you about earlier in another video that I that I take. It's an intelligence and cyber operations class, and now that we're in the cybersecurity aspect or the like that module, the the third part of the portion of the class, uh, we talk a little bit more of like cyber operations and that computer tech hacky stuff. So one of the conversations that we've had, and we're looking at the current events and trying to see what's going on in the real world, and obviously there's a lot of stuff floating around regarding, you know, Facebook, um, Mark Zuckerberg putting his testimony before Congress and, and, and all of that, uh, social media and just in general. And the information that we, like people as a society, as a culture, put on the internet, like released to the public, um, and what is okay to collect, what is not okay to collect as, as an application, as a company, as a service, um, et cetera. But I guess boiling it down to you, you, if people sign an agreement, the agreement is not really what I want to discuss, or but I'm just why is it that that people do that? Like when I was in Easy CTF, the the Discord channel, I was just hanging out before the competition started, uh, and the game was on, and I normally just log in um, with my username being my name, like I say on YouTube, oh hey, I'm John Hammond, and I don't know some individual that was in the chat or like other people were saying like what are you doing, dude? Like, with the self-docs, bro, why are you using your full name? Are you logging in with your, like, dude, the self-docs. And they just kept saying, like, self-docs, your docs, docs, docs. And I, I, to be completely honest, I admit, I, like, what, I didn't know that term, so I Googled it, and it's like, self-docs, um, when you, you yourself, like, put your information out on the internet, and, like, oh, I mean, yeah, I totally do that. At least I, I share my name, for sure, and Facebook, um, people do that, right? Like people have a Facebook account and they want to like share and talk about themselves. They want to express themselves and showcase who they are. And sometimes that may even be like, I don't know, not meaning to. I know just when I was a kid growing up, like stupid people would be like, oh, hey, uh, I've got chemistry, like third period. Um, this is the classroom that I'm in. This is, this is the teacher that I've got to. Any of you, like my friends, do any of my friends have the same period? And, and they'll literally, like, literally share their class schedule, where and when they're going to be um, you know, at a specific place at a specific time. And yeah, maybe you probably shouldn't put that on the internet. <laughs> uh, obviously there are pictures of yourself that you want to share, you want to showcase. Um, but me being like a military member, do I want to put pictures of me in uniform out on the internet? And I'll admit, yeah, sure. I have, there are stuff out there because you would like to showcase, man, you're proud. I'm proud of that stuff, like being in the service. Um, but sure, yeah, you're a military person. Maybe that could bring on nation states or adversaries or terrorists to target you, target specifically like military personnel, blah, blah, blah. Don't, <laughs> yeah, sure, I share my name and I say all these things, so don't target me. If you any, if any of you guys are bad guys, don't hit me, please. Thanks. Um, but I'm just trying to say, like, that's, I feel like that's natural. That's human. And especially for me, when they told me about the self-docs and they, they said, like, dude, what are you doing? And I proudly, like, claim on YouTube and across the internet, like, oh, no, I'm John Hammond. That's me. That's who I am. And I do that, I think, because I'm, like, proud of my work or my, my product, you know, what my projects and the things that I put on the internet for people to see, like, to showcase what I've done. I think that's important, even as like, I don't want to say a business standpoint, but for like a networking professional development thing, like, sure, LinkedIn, not the social media site that Facebook is, but it's still like, hey, trying to showcase yourself and what work that you do. I look at SANS, honestly, I look at like, 
Jeff McJunkin and Josh Wright and Ed Scotus and all these super cool guys. Shout out to you, dude. Ed Scotus, you are a hero to me in more ways than I can say. But they have a Twitter account where they will totally flaunt their lifestyle, what they're doing, where they are when in some cases, but they're not ashamed to like say who they are. Like using your name, you're not you're not hiding behind some anonymous identity or alias handle or, or hacker name. Yeah, it's cool to have some of that stuff. I logged in to Easy CTF as Parzival, uh reference to the Ready Player One um, novel and movie. Which is a whole other story we can talk about another time. <laughs> um, and I've used YouTube as like root of the null. Um, I've had handles or nicknames that it would be cool to just kind of have up on a scoreboard as like elite hacker name, stuff like that. But I still showcase and still have a significant amount of value that I place in just saying like, no, I'm John Hammond. I'm John. I'm happy to share that that name. And <laughs> again, the whole conversation was riding off of uh, the notions and discussions that we were having about putting a privacy and putting your public information out on the internet. Um, and this was kind of on the tails of, I don't know if you saw the news articles in the press that was released on the Facebook Android application. Um, this was late March, I think March 20, 20th, March 21st, around that time period. Um, but Dylan McKay, I think is his name. Uh, I'll try and post a link or some of the Twitter notes and uh, the tweets that we had found or were uncovered through all this, uh, where he just showcases like, this is everything that I found that the Facebook app is just keeping track of me on my cell phone between SMS messages, call history, phone duration, who I'm calling and when, uh, my whole contacts, etc., etc. But... <laughs> And sure, that was probably what spurred more and more of the, oh, Facebook's in the spotlight, social media's in the spotlight of what is okay to capture and what's okay to not capture. But people willingly do it. And I don't think that from a business or a corporation or a company, I don't think they, they will, they are, or have any intentions to like sell people's information or like put stuff on the black market. I, I don't know. May, I probably have a little bit more of an optimistic and <laughs> hopeful perspective uh, on the world and on people, which well, might be the death of me. I don't know. Please don't hack me again. <laughs> Please don't ruin my life. It's already bad enough. Um, so I don't know really what I'm trying to say here, but I wanted to, I wanted to point at that as showcase an example of people do it. People just are willing to share because they want to. And I don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't know if that's a good thing. I think in some cases it can very well be both, but I'm pretty pleased to just say, this is my name. I'm happy to say I'm John Hammond because I want to put out good work and show um, the products and the projects that I work on and have a, a presence on the internet. And I think I do that to some extent. So the self docs maybe isn't so bad, but if you want to completely share where you are and when as like the real world phys that may have physical repercussions. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably not okay. But showcasing I'm John and having a Twitter or having um, a, a YouTube page that kind of flaunts that name maybe could be good in the long run between going to conferences or going to capture the flag competitions or just kind of having a name for yourself when you're out in the scene, in the culture on meetups or at conventions, et cetera, et cetera. That's probably maybe good. And I hope maybe, Hey, one day pretty soon, uh, once I'm out of this school, this, this prison cell, I can hang out with you guys at a conference, at a convention, at a capture the flag competition, at some kind of tech event. And you like, Oh, Oh, dude, it's just John. <laughs> I've known him for how many years? And it's cool because I've just seen his presence on the internet. And, you know, you live in a way just through what I do and what I put out there. So that's cool. I think that's cool. So self-docs, good and bad. Depends on how you use it. Depends on how what you, what you do on the internet. Um, depends on what people say, what people ask. But as long as you're comfortable with it, as long as you are kosher with putting stuff on the internet, because I know there are, there are plenty of people that will say, like, Oh, yeah, I don't really care at this point, you know? OPM hack, Sony hack, it's stuff like stuff losing people's credit card information, social security numbers. It's like, you are already out there. Your information is probably already known. 
And maybe it's bad for us as a culture to just at this point say like, I don't care. <laughs> like the damage is done. Oh, well, what good is this going to do now? I'm already out there. Okay, and maybe we'll never know. We don't know for sure if you specifically are out there. If your information, your credit card number, your address, your phone number and stuff is already in some hackers or nation state terrorist adversary is a database. I don't want to say hacker because that is a, a hacker is a good thing in some cases. But when you when I when I say nation state adversary or terrorist, I hope that's more of a bad thing. <laughs> I hope that has a bad connotation in your mind. So okay. I think that's enough of me talking. I hope you guys got to enjoy a little bit of the video. Easy CTF was a blast. Uh, I have a lot of footage from this, and I want to showcase more of it. Um, I can walk through some of the challenges if you need me to, but I think running through them in the raw uh, capture was probably pretty cool. And having some video that I can talk over for just conversations and this I talk, that, that style of video, hopefully that's good and cool. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. And... Leave a like, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Show me, share your input. What do you think? Uh, are you one to self-docs or what are you willing to put out on the internet, et cetera, et cetera. So. Later.